This is Rob from Newtown Firearms. I'm here to talk about the new Gen 4 infinitely adjustable piston rifle that we make and on the teardown of the operating system. Okay, first off, always check chamber, make sure it's clear. Make sure the rifle is on safe. Uh, exit rear pin to disengage the lower from the upper half. Move forward pin. Here, uh, we're going to take the charging handle and carrier group out. Okay, then on the left side, you'll see a little cross pin that holds in the pressure sleeve. It's a little tapered pin. Uh, we will be removing that. So, first off, remove the left side rail cover. Allen key, remove the cross pin. Make sure you remove the cross pin before opening the knob. Okay, once the cross pin is out, remove the control knob. system offers over 80 positions of adjustability so it takes a little bit to undo it. Undo the knob, exit the whole uh, complete knob and stem out of the rifle. Then the rod and spring will exit from the front. Tip the muzzle down, tap it a little bit, you should drop the pressure seat, rod and spring out. Make sure you, you disengage the spring. That's out. You can see everything's out from the inside. We got a clear shot all the way through inside the rifle. Our spring, op rod, and piston assembly, and pressure sleeve. Then you can take and wipe the parts down. A little frog glue on. Frog glue is good because it doesn't burn down. Put on the piston cut. Stem and on your tape pin. Okay, and if the system has been run for quite a while and it gets a little dirty, uh, you can use a little 38 caliber nylon brush just to run it through the front end. Mix it in carbon, a little light oil on it, swap it out just like you would your, your, uh, your bore. Okay, reassembly. Your upright piston assembly with spring, install the two together. Muzzle down. Insert the spring and rod inside the heat sink and into the receiver action. <coughs> then the pressure sleeve has a little cam on it that's actually uh, that times the uh, gas port to the barrel. So make sure it's in the right index inside the gas block. There's a little timing sequence of that cam on it too, which is uh, hard to see in this photo, but you'll see it in there. But put the cam towards the left side, drop it inside, drop it straight down. You'll feel it click in. So we use a little uh, chamber flag, plastic, push it down. Once it locks in position, hold it in your finger and install your cross pin. Thread the cross pin all the way in until it bottoms. Pull your little tool out and then when you tighten this cross pin, it's a tapered pin, so it snugs up as it bottoms. Bottom it out and then just a, a light eight to a quarter turn to cinch it down. Don't go through. Okay, once that's done, we install the knob and stem, thread it in. Now when this bottoms out, uh, from the bottoming you'll have 18 to 20 clicks of short stroke sub window to run suppression devices. 
when you get past that, it will run 55 grain fairly easily uh, from 18 to 20 clicks. Uh, from that point up to over 80 positions. You have more 60 positions on top to run all types of ammo. But to get it to fire, you're gonna to have to open the valve at least 18 to 21 clicks and then set it to whatever ammunition you have to get your carrier timing speed where you want it. So basically that's about it. Uh, reinstall your little side rail cover. Snap that on. Uh, install your charging hand. Bolt carrier group. Thank you.